What's going on everybody? This is Sean Ross, Select Music. Today I want to talk about this record right here. This is Kamal Williams, The Return, released on Black Focus Records in this year, our Lord, 2018. So, if you've been following my channel for a while now, you'll know that I did a review earlier this year for the predecessor to The Return, which is the Yusuf Kamal Black Focus album. So, and The Return is a bit of a sequel of sorts to this record right here, but it's a little bit different because essentially, and I didn't know this, after this album was released, maybe a year or so ago, I couldn't really find that much information about it, that Yusuf Kamal had broken up, Yusuf Davies being their drummer, broke up, uh, and I guess he went on to do his own thing, and then uh, David Wu, who is Kamal William, decided that he wanted to continue his future jazz funk soul project. I've been listening to this album quite a bit recently, and I wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on it, and let you know whether or not I think it's worth checking out. So, with that little introduction out of the way, let's get into this. Okay. So the first thing that I want to say right off the bat, I like this album a lot more than this one. Which is not to say that Black Focus, by any stretch of the imagination, is a bad record. I think there are some absolutely fantastic moments on it. It's got some amazing drumming, it's got some amazing bass playing, it's got some really unique takes on mixing electronic music and jazz together. But overall, I found it to be a fairly unengaging listen. There were a couple of moments where I could really get into it and I found the grooves to be pretty addictive and fun to listen to. But overall, I often found myself while listening to this record just sort of not paying attention to it and then it just sort of drifted into the background and kind of became more or less white noise. And while some of that is still on this record and I will definitely get into some of my little nitpicks about this record, I find overall it's just a much stronger record on every level and that's what, 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 what really what I I wanted to get into about this record. Right out the gate, I like this album a lot more than Black Focus. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact, I think this is just like a more colorful and more instrumentally a much more interesting album. I feel like uh, David Wu's keyboard playing sounds a lot better and a lot more confident and it really seems like he honed in on his skills and just in general, his keyboard playing just seems so much more assertive on this record than it did on the previous record. I also feel like the bass playing on here, uh, well, largely pretty much in the, uh, the same sort of feel of Black Focus. I feel like the bass playing on here is just as groovy, just as funky. There's a lot of like, 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 like slides and shit, and bass is really uh, a very prominent instrument on all the tracks on here, as well as the drums. Now, the drummer on here, Joshua McKenzie, uh, I should also shout out uh, Pete Martin on bass here, does a finch fantastic job of filling in for uh, Yousef Days. Although he doesn't seem to have quite the same amount of finesse, what he lacks in that department he just brings with a lot more punch and a lot more power to his sound. I think overall the the general feel, tone of this record I like a lot more then I like Black Focus. Again, reiterating, I like Black Focus as a record, I just prefer this one. And this album, I also feels like, really starts things off on the right foot. Salam is the opening track off this record, and it starts off with a nice little ominous groove, then kicks into double time, shifting away from the halftime opening, and really gives, there's a lot of dynamic to the track, and there's a real feeling of a start, middle, and end, and it, it really just gives the song some uh, much needed direction. Another great track on here that I really, really like is Catch the Loop, which starts off with this just amazing flurry of drums, rapid fire hi-hats, some amazing bass playing, and some, some actually like really legitimately impressive keyboard work from David Wu. However, while I've said multiple times throughout this video, I do really like this record. It does have a few 
issues. And Catch the Loop, I think, is one of the best examples of my issues with this record. Despite the fact that it comes out with this super energetic, amazing opening, it ultimately ends up becoming extremely aimless. And it's a seven or eight minute track, and despite its extremely ear-catching opening, it just doesn't go anywhere. And it really feels like they're sort of metaphorically fumbling around in the dark after that excellent intro and ultimately the track just sort of fizzles out of any sort of exciting musical ideas and honestly just doesn't really go anywhere and I feel like that is the number one issue that I have with a lot of the songs on here. The track that follows Salam, Broken Theme, comes in with this really really cool broken beat-esque drum groove with uh, this really cool sort of keyboard line and then it just goes on for about five minutes and just doesn't really do anything. I do find that some of the tracks on here that really do feel like they have really interesting musical ideas, whereas a song like Catch the Loop goes on for way longer than it needs to, a track like High Roller and Situations, and prematurely. High Roller is one of the most upbeat tracks on here, and it's only three minutes long. It's also one of the most straightforward songs on here, and it locks into a groove almost immediately, and, and then it's done. And it really feels like if there is a track that I kind of wish would go on for a little bit longer, that's, 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 that's one of them. And then there's this really cool mood piece that follows that track up, which is Situations is the only live track on here. It has this really, really cool jazz vibe going for it. It's pretty moody. It's got a little bit of eerie atmosphere. And I really, 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 really like the sound of that song. But once again, it ends so prematurely that it feels like there's a really solid idea here that could have been extended into a longer song. But despite the fact that I, I've just seemingly been ragging on this album. There are uh, a lot of great tracks, especially on the last moments of this album. Medina is a more of a straightforward jazz funk groover that really leans heavily on sort of smoky jazz. It has a nice vibe to it. It's got a nice groove to it. And I really, really like the sound of that song. And then the track Eldian Shuffle, which has Mansir Brown, really gives this song some much needed extra musical texture with a blaring guitar solo. And once again, it's one of the harder hitting tracks on here. And it's definitely one of my favorite late moment tracks on this album. And I think if moving forward, what I would really like to hear more of from Kamal Williams in the future is the last track, Aisha, is this really, really cool David Wu going all in on that futuristic, almost Vangelis, Blade Runner-ish uh, synthesizer atmosphere soundscapes. And I would love to hear that sound paired with uh, the rest of the band and really giving this a electronic, ambient, jazz, funk sound, not that dissimilar from Carl Craig's seminal uh, electronic music project, uh, Inner Zone Orchestra. So some rough edges to this album, a bit of aimlessness to it, but overall it's a really solid project. Highly recommend that you check it out. Maybe don't have to go out and buy it on vinyl. If you do, I'd wait to buy it on sale. I wouldn't pay full price for it. Or just stream it. Because it's definitely worth a listen. But I don't think it's worth picking up at full price. So yeah, Kamal Williams, The Return, Black Focus Records. Solid je uh, modern jazz funk record. And definitely a recommendation from me. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. I know this has been the first YouTube video that I've done in a while. I've just been in, in a little bit of a funk recently, haven't been able to get anything out. But hopefully, as of this video, I will be back onto a regular upload schedule. I have some interesting video ideas coming in the future. If you listen to this record, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments in my way off base. Do you agree with me? Definitely love hearing from you guys. I've been seeing a lot more comments on my videos recently, and I really, really do appreciate it. My apologies if I'm not getting back to you 
as quickly as I like. I'm, I'm pretty awful at responding to comments. If you want to check this record out for yourself, head over to my WordPress blog and that's where you can find music links uh, for this record so you can check it out. And that's going to be it for me. Uh, thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out!